Hi, my name is Andrea Gebhardt, and I want to be one of the first to welcome you, not just to our incredible team and family, but really to social marketing. Um, social retail is an incredible business model, and social marketing is really simple, uh, really fun. And once you learn how to get comfortable with the concept of utilizing the platform to build a business, you're going to be really excited about the decision you just made to come on board with us. So I'm going to walk you through something called pep. We're going to put a little bit of pep in your step as you're starting your business. Um, three simple steps to just really help you become a successful social marketer. So in order for me to be able to do that today, I just got to help you kind of like, you know, understand the shift. And the shift is just how you, what you think about social media. And uh, the shift is in really like your intention and your purpose behind social media. Because right now, chances are you've been using social media platforms to share your life with the world, with your friends, with your family, to stay connected, with your friends and your family. Um, I mean, chances are you probably connect more on social media with your family than you do over the phone or even simple text messages. And so I'm going to help you understand. I'm going to take you through three simple concept, concepts today. They're just going to really help you understand that we get to now show up on social media with a purpose. In fact, right now, the only difference between between who you were a few days ago before you made the decision and who you are now is that before you posted on the platform, connect on the platform, and that's where it stopped for you. But now as a social marketer, you're going to post on the platform, connect on the platform, and generate an income leveraging this platform. So our, our what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we're going to create opportunities to do that, how we're going to utilize engagement, and how to really leverage the platform to build your business. So I hope you're excited. Get out your pen and paper. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this in this this concept of PEP, the first step uh, is P, which stands for posting, right? So here's the thing, like right now you probably post on social media when something big in life happens, or maybe you're a little bit further along and you kind of post something on the daily. Like you just kind of like, here's what's happening in my world, slap it up and uh, you kind of see what happens. And then there's some of you who are even more further along who understand things like engagement and understand audience and understand all that, but where, it doesn't matter where you fall on the, on the spectrum of what you know, because here's what I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you by the end of this training, you're gonna have a super solid idea of how to implement these strategies to help you be successful and grow your business. So here's the first thing I want you to know. P stands for post, right? So now we're going to, we're every day, now that we're a social marketer, we're going to start thinking about what we're posting, who we're posting for, and why we're posting. Your posts really do matter. Are we posting to entertain? Are we posting to connect? Are we posting to educate and inform? Are we posting to relate? What, what is the purpose behind our post, right? We want to post consistently. This is the thing that really, really matters. Um, posting consistent, consistently is a really big deal because our lives move at the speed of the feed. And so what is relevant to me is what I can see within scroll shot, right? What's relevant to me is, is there, but like, Literally morning, noon, and night, I'm scrolling at different times of the day, seeing what's taking place at different times of the day. And all that I really know and can understand and take in and comprehend is what's happening in the moment. So posting consistently matters because when you post on social media and you post consistently, you're showing up consistently in the feeds of other people. Now, if you want to create visibility and if you want to create opportunities, to connect with others, if you want to create opportunities to introduce your products to other people, consistency is absolutely key here. Because what you have to remember is that your social media platform now is kind of like your business card. It is your business. Instead of going to the bakery and, and, and unlocking the door and flicking on the lights and putting the cupcakes out, you are showing up to social media making a post and getting to work with the people who, who naturally are engaged with you. We're going to talk about posting intentionally, right? There's an intention to our, to our posts. Like I talked a little bit about before, and we're going to post with a purpose. The whole purpose behind every post that we make is to create opportunities for engagement that lead to opportunities to connect, develop, and solidify relationships that lead to opportunities to build business down the line. So we are posting with purpose and everything that we do. So one of the things I want you to get really, really good at here right now, as you're getting started on your journey is getting really good at posting, posting every single day, posting on your Facebook, posting on Instagram, posting in your stories. I want you to get really great at posting every single day, because before you were a social marketer, you posted sometimes, right? And you posted, 
uh, just little things here and there. And we're going to turn up the dial on our consistency, our intentionality, and the purpose by which we post. So, okay, Andrea, I've done all this posting. So right now you can pause this video right now. You can pause and I want you to go post something. You could post something funny. You can post a picture of, of your family, of your pet, of your most recent vacation, of the last thing that you ate. Um, I just want you to go and I want you to, I want you to post, right? But posting is only one piece of the puzzle. See, what I love about a really good post is it shows us number one, who is seeing what we do. That's your audience who's engaging, right? So the people who like and comment on your post, they're engaging with you. They stop because what you said, like they laughed, they loved it. They can relate to it. They learned from it. So they liked it. They loved it. They cared about it. They commented on it. Those are the people who are engaged with you. Those are the people who are showing up for what you got to say. And those are the people who are looking for what you have to offer. Remember that part because it's very, very important. But other than posting, the next thing that we do, the next piece of that, right? Posting is only as good as the post. It's what we do with what we get with that engagement that really matters, which leads me to that next part, that E. Okay, so we have PEP, P-E, E stands for engage, engage. So when you put up a post, it's kind of like walking into a room and being like, hi, everybody. And if everybody said hi back to you and you stood there and said nothing, they would think you were weird, right? So when you make a post on social media and people start engaging with it, I want you to engage back with them immediately. That could be you chatting back to their comment. That could be you dropping a funny gift that kind of like reiterates the point or, you know, is an inside joke or something of that nature, but you want to engage immediately, right? So the algorithm's like, okay, cool. Andrea just posted. People started interacting and, oh, wow, she's already engaging with other people. So not only does it increase the visibility of your post, but it increases the value that you have given to the relationships of the people who are engaging with you at that time. We're going to engage with purpose. So sometimes that means somebody leaves a comment. Maybe it, it causes us to want to ask a question. So we ask a question back. So we could turn that one comment into three with a little teeny tiny bit of dialogue, right? Going back and forth. Too many people spend way too much time on social media monologuing, meaning they're doing the only ones that are talking. Like they're just posting and they're never engaging. That is no fun. That is no fun at all. So we want to engage with purpose. We want to create dialogue. So sometimes it's creating conversations. Sometimes it's asking a question. Sometimes um, we're engaging to find out a little bit more for elaboration, all those types of things. And then we're going to go and continue that conversation. We're going to engage in messenger. We're going to engage in the inbox, right? The inbox. You're going to take the conversation from the crowded center of the room to a quiet table in the corner. That's how I want you to think about it, right? You can have more meaningful conversation there. You can have more personal conversation there. You can certainly hear people better there. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to engage. We're going to take the engagement from the thread to the inbox. And we're going to engage often. So just because you posted something in the morning doesn't mean that you can't go back to it, engage in it later in the day. It doesn't mean that you posted something a couple days ago that you can't go back and continue to engage with those people. So we want to engage often on the post that we're doing. So now think about it. You're posting, you're posting, you're posting, you're posting good. You're showing up for business. You're showing up for on social media. That's really good. Oh, now you're engaging. So you're adding, you're engaging and you're engaging, and you're engaging, you're adding value. You're getting good at this part. Like I want you to become awesome at posting. I want you to feel comfortable and confident. And I want you to feel really good about engaging. Like it's not about, it's no longer about, by the way, can I just say this? It's no longer about the number of likes or comments you get that no longer matters. Those are called vanity metrics. The value metric is how many conversations you can create by way of that post. That is a value metric. That is what we're chasing value over everything else. Okay. So up next in our step, okay, so I'm posting and now I'm engaging. Now I'm in some conversation at that quiet table in the back of the room, AKA messenger of the inbox. And now this is where we get to that next part of what we do, the P and PEP, right? So we have PEP, post, engage, and now we're at the next one, which is pivot. So the thing is, pivoting is not like a crazy technique, strategy, or skill. We actually do it all the time. And it's the thing that you do when you're in conversation with somebody, when you pivot the conversation in a different direction. Let's say you're talking about kids. And the next thing, you pivot the conversation, say, hey, do you still go to this salon to get your hair done? You could pivot to, 
Hey, did you hear about what happened? Blah, 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 right? We pivot all the time in our conversations. And so I just want you to think about pivoting as a way for you to learn more about the person that you're in conversation with. So you can pivot to learn. So tell me a little bit more about your family. Tell me a little bit more about what you do. Tell me a little bit more about X, Y, and Z, right? We're going to pivot to learn. Tell me a little bit more about what you meant when you commented blah, blah, blah earlier, right? We're going to pivot to learn about the person. Why? Because we're in conversation to build relationship. We're in conversation to strengthen and solidify connection. We're in conversation because conversation is where the conversion happens. I mean, this whole time you're probably thinking like, how is all this going to help me build my business? When we post, we show up, we turn the lights on to our business and then we engage with, with people who are engaged with us. We create opportunities to, um, introduce our products, introduce our business, introduce, you know, what we're up to and what's going on. You're going to learn a little bit more about that, but we're pivoting to learn. So what I love is that you can pivot with questions, right? You want to change the direction of the conversation. You can pivot with questions. So, um, you know, how's, how's life is this? How's, how are things going? Like, what are you doing for, for this holiday? Or, you know, um, what school is it that your kids go to? Or, oh my gosh, like, how did you approach? Like one of the conversations I'm in right now is what driving school did you send your kids to? <laughs> Cause my oldest is getting ready to start that process. And so that's literally pivoting with questions, pivot with purpose. Sometimes we're pivoting the conversation to take it down a direction or down a road. We want it to go. It's kind of like when you know you have something you really want to talk about with a friend. So you get in that small chat up front, but you know, you want to have a conversation about something meaningful and important. So you pivot with purpose. You're like, you know, I've been meaning to share with you. I've been meaning to talk with you. I've really wanted to tell you about A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you go from there and we pivot to develop. See, a lot of times people just think we're pivoting to sell a product. We're pivoting to uh, talk about the business opportunity, but really we pivot because we're developing, we're pivot to develop the relationship, right? Take it a little bit deeper, learn a little bit more, move it a little further along. Now imagine if every post that you did, you engaged with the people who were engaging with you, you took it to that quiet table in the back, and then you pivoted the conversation to learn more, right? You pivoted with purpose to, to talk about something important. You pivoted to develop the relationship. Not only is that going to enable you to build more meaningful, healthy relationships, but that's actually going to build your business because here's the deal, friends. At the end of the day, people do business with people they know, they like, and they trust. And if they know you enough, from the posting that you're doing and the engaging that you're doing. And if they like you enough because you engage back and make them feel important, then they're more likely to buy from you at some point when you share something or when you pivot the conversation in regards to with the purpose of, you know, sharing product or business or something else with them. So when you start to think about, uh, social media, when you start to think about social retail, now when you start to think about your position as a social marketer, I want you to remember PEP post, engage, and pivot. So as you're getting started here and as you're kind of like, you know, taking this new approach to social media and trying things out for the very first time, I just want you to get really good at posting, really good at posting and engaging, really good at posting, engaging, and pivoting with the intent to build those relationships, build that knowability, that likability, that trust factor, so that when it comes time for you to share your products, when it comes time for you to share your business, you're able to do so in a very genuine, authentic, non-salesy way that is going to provide absolute value and benefit to the person on the other end of that conversation. That's pep guys. Let's put a little bit of pep in our step as we move forward in building our social retail businesses.